How's it going, everyone? So I just wanted to make people aware of a grift I see going on in the GunTube community. In the uh, past months, the ATF sent out a cease and desist letter to a company by the name of Q, who is marketing a gun by the name of Honey Badger, as an AR-style brace pistol. The ATF used this gun as an unregistered SBR, which is a short-barreled rifle, and that's why they sent the cease and desist. So, of course, this caused a lot of public outcry because the gun tubers all over YouTube and, you know, internet media sites uh, were telling the gun community that the ATF was making changes to regulations or new regulations, which would, in effect, turn millions of brace pistol owners into potential felons. The fact of the matter is that these are not new laws or regulations. These are laws and regulations and other legally binding requirements that are already on the books. So, on the 18th of December, the ATF released a rough draft guidance to assist the public in understanding how the ATF determines if a brace pistol falls into the category of a short-barreled rifle. On this rough draft guidance, they included 14 days of a place for public commentary so they can get input on the final draft to come later. Now, many grifting gun tubers took to the internet and told their viewers that the simple guidance letter was proposed new regulations or new classifications and rallied everyone into a fear-based fury to leave a comment. Many of them were falsely comparing this guidance letter to the 2015 proposed ban on the M855 ammunition. So a few days in, the ATF page for commentary on the guidance had been flooded with thousands of misled individuals to the point the ATF issued a withdrawal on the rough draft guidance, including the place for people to comment on it, and told everyone that the final draft guidance is still coming and that the withdrawal of the guidance does not change any law, regulation, or other legally binding requirement. I repeat, the withdrawal of the guidance does not change any law, regulation, or other legally binding requirement. So, essentially, these gun tubers are taking their viewers on an emotional roller coaster. They're lying to them, working them up to a frenzy simply for the clicks and engagement. When the ATF comes out with their final draft of the guidance, which we know it'll be coming, the gun tubers will pretend like the ATF is doubling down or flip-flopping again, and they're saying, we need your help. We thought we beat them. We had that win. When, of course, as we know, the withdrawal of the guidance does not change any law, regulation, or other legally binding requirement. So everything that we read in the guidance, even though it was subjective and not objective, those are the same factors that the ATF will continue to be using when they're determining if a pistol that is being sold or manufactured or built is actually intended for use as a short-barreled rifle. I don't agree with their uh, laws or regulations, you know, of course, shall not be infringed, but this is actually what's going on. The ATF, again, is not proposing anything new. If you have that in your mind, Go ahead and get that out and understand that those were people, that was an idea that was given to you by people trying to make money off of your time, your clicks, and your voice.